Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your love and romance reading for May 2022. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, you might stumble upon the video after May 2022, and that's fine. You're going to find it whenever you are meant to find it. Keep in mind, this is a general reading for the collective. Not every single message is going to resonate, but take what does, my dears, and leave what doesn't. Without further ado, let's connect and see what's coming up here for our darling Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. First card coming up here for you, my dears, is the Two of Pentacles. Now, this card can come up in a couple of different ways. I know that there are some readers out there that if there's Two of Pentacles or Two of Wands, uh, they see it as like, there's like a more than one relationship going on or somebody who's bouncing between relationships. That's not always the case. Okay. I don't like to stereotype, stereotype cards and say that every single time this card comes up, this is what it means because the card have cards have a lot of layers. If there is a dual relationship thing happening, I feel like you would already know. Okay, Sagittarius, I feel like you would already know. I don't feel like something would be happening behind the scenes that you're you're unaware of. Um, it could be a, a situation where the person's being very honest with you that, oh, it's a complicated situation and this and this and that. And my advice to you, this is just more of like a personal standpoint. If you're looking for commitment, if you're looking for someone to have a stable relationship with, then I would just tell the person, look, Get it figured out, get it uncomplicated, wrap it up, get done with it, and then call me. Call me when you're done with that, but don't pull me into it, right? If that's the case, you would already know. I don't feel like something is happening that you don't know about. Now, the other ways that the Two of Pentacles can come up for me in my readings is when we're way in our head too much and we're not in the present moment and we might be jumping to conclusions and we might be assuming uh, what someone else is thinking or what they're feeling because our negative ego is in overdrive. And we're like, oh, did you see how they looked at me or they did this or they did that? And oh, they probably don't like me. And so sometimes for me, the two of pentacles in the readings comes up to say, try to get grounded, try to be mentally present in the moment don't overthink it and try to as much as you can enjoy the experience or enjoy the interaction try to bring a sense of playfulness into it okay some of you might be nervous maybe you're dealing with somebody that you really really like or you're in a relationship and you're very terrified that this relationship might end and you're not wanting to be single and you're not wanting to go back into the world of dating and I don't blame you <laughs> I don't blame you at all it can be scary uh, out there uh, in the world of dating and so um the two of pentacles is saying just try to be present in the moment don't let your mind run away from you that you're just already worried about problems that might not even be happening right now right communication is key talk to your partner uh, ask questions, you know, but try to avoid jumping to conclusions and try to uh, catch yourself when the negative ego is coming in and making you feel insecure or making you doubt yourself. Because sometimes with the two of pentacles, we start to create problems in our mind because of the negative ego that aren't based in reality. Okay, so just be aware of this. Uh, some of you need to work on being present in the moment and not getting carried away or lost in your thoughts, which can create problems in a relationship. Your next card here is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords can be time apart from somebody. They may be traveling for work or you may be traveling for work or there might be something going on where they're not going to be uh, available for a little while. And the Two of Pentacles can tell us that 
you might be really stressed out about that. That, oh my gosh, like, what if, what if absence doesn't make the heart grow fonder? What if they start forgetting all about me? You know, what if they find somebody else or meet somebody else? But when the Four of Swords comes up, the Four of Swords tells us this is a temporary uh, absence or this is a temporary time apart. And some of you may very well be dealing with a situation where you're telling somebody, look, I like you. I know you like me. I understand that your situation is complicated, but you go get that figured out. You get that done. You get that wrapped up. And then, you know, you can you can let me know. If that is the case for some of you, if that is the situation that you're in, the Four of Swords is telling us that this time apart truly is a temporary time apart, right? This person is going to do what they need to do to make their way back over to you. It's a temporary separation. Some of you may be having challenges in an existing relationship and maybe you, you all are trying a separation. If that's the case, Four of Swords tells us, again, it is a temporary separation. Four of Swords also comes up for me in my readings a lot of the times for people who emotionally, mentally, physically, you've been through the ringer. Absolutely, positively, you've just been through the ringer and you're exhausted. You're, you're, you're absolutely exhausted. And I know Sagittarius, you guys have had really powerful messages coming up in your weekly forecasts. And so I know a lot of you Sagittarius have been through it. And some of you maybe need a little bit of time, a little bit of space. Maybe you're worried. You're like, well, what if this person doesn't understand? What if they think I'm making excuses? Again, temporary time apart, you all will come together again. Or some of you are dealing with a person that emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, they've been through the ringer and they might be telling you, I need a little bit of time. And you're in that two of pentacles energy where like now you're worried. You're like, oh man, oh man, like what if, what if, um, you know, they're, they're lying to me or what if they're trying to let me down easy or what if they're just trying to disappear again, four of swords is temporary time apart. The two of pentacles can also come up sometimes when we're trying too hard and the situation may simply just need some time. That's it. With the four of swords here, all we need is a little bit of quiet time. All we need is a little bit of rest. We need to just let the dust settle and then we can move forward. So two of pentacles sometimes comes up to say, don't feel like you need to fix everything or you need to perform or you need to prove yourself. Some of you are coming from a childhood of constantly having to earn your keep, right? Uh, feeling like you're in the way or you're a nuisance. And so you would try to make up for that by being helpful or performing or excelling in some way, you know, winning trophies, winning awards, uh, you know, cleaning the house, preparing with meals, like these kinds of things from a young age. And some of you are tempted to fall back into that thing of like, I got to earn my keep so you don't get rid of me. And spirit is trying to say, time to come out of that thinking, right? You're a child of God. You're a child of the universe. Unconditional love is, is your birthright. You don't have to perform to, to like these extremes, you know, to be noticed or to be loved. And that's not what your person is asking you for. Some of you, your person just needs time. This is not your burden to carry. This is not your burden to fix or change. They just need some space to work through some stuff. And for some of you, vice versa. Okay. The next card that's coming up here for you, Sagittarius, is the Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords, I know, is a card that scares a lot of people. <laughs> My dog is barking in his sleep. He does that sometimes, but he's okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bye-bye. You're okay. I don't know what he dreams about. Seven of Swords here is a card that sometimes scares a lot of people. 
And it's a card that can come up when we feel like somebody is being dishonest or like somebody is trying to take advantage of a situation. Um, in this instance, I feel, well, you know what? I'm going to pull clarifiers. Let's do this. Let's pull clarifiers. You guys are going to get some extra cards. Don't tell the other signs. <laughs> but we're going to pull clarifiers on Seven of Swords. Because I know this makes a lot of people nervous. And no matter what I say, what my intuition is saying, some of you are going to be like, oh, you're just saying that to be nice. Or you're just saying that because, you know, you don't want to scare us. So we're going to turn to the cards. Clarifier one. Clarifier two. Clarifier three. I try to keep the the videos on YouTube short and sweet. So I normally don't pull clarifiers, but I'll do clarifiers in private readings. Here we have the King of Cups. Ooh. I don't know why it feels kind of blurry to me. Clarifier 2 is the Tower. You guys are like, great, now we have the Tower. Ooh, and the Hermit. Okay, so this is a very... Very specific message for some of you. We're going to move you a little bit closer. Some of you Sagittarius have walked away from a relationship. Because you were in a situation in which maybe uh, the grass looked greener. And now you might be faced with the decision of, well, maybe this is a temporary time apart. And maybe I want to go back to this other person. This person that I walked away from. Some of you may be on like a separation from uh, your husband or your wife. And uh, there may have been uh, another lover or somebody that's been tempting you. However, I keep hearing thin eyes, thin eyes, thin eyes. So maybe some of you haven't given in to the temptation and maybe you've just kind of been flirting with the idea. Like, you know, maybe I'd be happier with this other person. Maybe this is my soulmate. For some of you, spirit is, if, if that's the situation you're dealing with and you're feeling tempted, spirit is coming in with a big, big, big protection and, and showing you somebody's true colors. Like, hey, Sagittarius, hold up, wait a minute, before you go making this permanent decision, before you go taking this big change in your life, we need you to know some things about this person that's tempting you away from a commitment. Seven of Swords is not always going to be somebody that's trying to take advantage of us. Sometimes I see Seven of Swords in a reading to tell us that you're dealing with a person who really sees you out of their league. Like they see you as somebody they really, really want. But they're like, if Sagittarius knew the real me, they're not going to like me. They're not going to be impressed by me. So they're really good at reading you. They're really good at figuring out what you want to know or uh, what you want to feel or what impresses you. And then they go and they assume that persona. They come in like, here I am, you know, I'm your dream person, Sagittarius. I'm everything your spouse isn't. I'm everything your boyfriend or girlfriend isn't. And so they want to come in and like be that person that wows you and dazzles you and scoops you up and steals you away. This is the thing, though. They know that they can't carry that uh, persona forever, right? Because th th they're assuming a character. They're, they're, they're acting. They're playing a character. So they're going to be in a hurry to lock you down. They're going to be in a hurry to get you to leave your relationship or move in together or get married before the mask starts slipping and you're like, oh, this person is boring or this person isn't as interesting as I thought, or we don't have as much in common as I thought. And so they're going to be in a hurry to try to get you to make this decision. And for a lot of you, I feel like spirit is intervening and saying, uh-uh, 
Sagittarius has been through enough. Sagittarius doesn't need this deception. And the tower moment, I feel, is a truth being revealed to you about this person. Especially, especially if you're dealing with a person, Sagittarius, that you're like, oh my god, we are so in tune. We think the same things, we like the same things, we feel the same way. It's like we have the same mind, we have the same heart, we have the same spirit. We're so in tune, we're so identical. Meanwhile, you're just dealing with a person who's like, oh my goodness, me too. Or they have a feeling which you're about to say and they'll beat you to it. And you're like, oh my gosh, that's exactly how I feel. That's exactly what I think. That's exactly, you know, what I want. And so some of you are dealing with a person who's just really good at mimicking, mimicking, okay? And uh, you think, wow, this is like another me, but it's not. And if that is the case, I feel this tower moment is the universe is stepping in and revealing to you the truth. That this person is, is not how they're, how they're pretending to be. So before you go leaving a stable, secure relationship, don't go doing that for this person who is just assuming a persona. Now the Hermit card can tell us some of you may be dealing with a Virgo. If that is the case, as strong as you may be, Sagittarius... For me in my readings, when I'm reading for two people and a major arcana card comes up for one of those people's zodiac sign, it tells me that that is the person with the most pull, pull in the situation. And that is the person who's going to uh, have the final say in a lot of things. So even though you may be a strong person, if you're dealing with a Virgo, this could be a Virgo who is going to surprise you and be um, like, you know, ruling the relationship or this is what they say goes. This is for those of you who are being tempted. If the person that's tempting you is a Virgo, look out, look out, look out, look out. That's all I can tell you. The Hermit card can also come up when a situation is holding up a mirror to us. And we're seeing where we're hurt. We're seeing where we're wounded. We're seeing what we need. We're understanding what we need to be happy or what we need to feel content or fulfilled. Some of you Sagittarius for a really long time have felt like something is missing. And you've been like, when I find my soulmate, it's not going to feel missing anymore, right? The soulmate is the missing piece. Meanwhile, something else is the missing piece. What is that missing piece? It's different for different ones of you, but the hermit card comes up to say that this situation is going to help you see it. That's it. That's what's missing. That's what I'm hungry for. That's what I'm longing for. And for some of you being faced with this decision, do I stay in the committed relationship? Do I go for this temptation now this truth is being revealed to me and i'm realizing this temptation is uh all you know glitter and no substance okay so do i go back to my committed relationship do i recommit because this other person's not going to work out or they're not what i thought it what i thought they were the hermit card is telling us that some of you are realizing that there's a third choice and that third choice for some of you may be choosing yourself and making the decision not to date for a while. Maybe some of you are doing this within the relationship. Maybe you're not leaving the person right now because they're not ready to let you go. Or maybe financially you're not in a situation where you can move out or file for divorce. Or maybe you have children that are still very young and you're not in a situation where you can just up and leave the relationship but you may be taking this moment of like okay like we're still together physically but emotionally spiritually 
I'm going to focus on me. And so some of you may have a period of celibacy in this relationship or just a period of where you're just being very open with your partner. Like I'm not in a place right now where I can be physically intimate. I'm not in a place right now where, you know, I can be, you know, lying up naked next to you. Or maybe some of you don't even want to be in the same bed right now even. But there could be something for some of you where you're healing, you're finding yourself, you're recharging your battery, so to speak, and you're discovering yourself. You're getting a better understanding of yourself and who you are and what you need. And it's not going to feel depressing. For a lot of you, it's going to feel very invigorating, like you're getting your life force back. You're getting your energy back. You're figuring it out. And then by the end of it, you're able to come out of it and say, okay, partner, here is what I need. If we're going to do this, if we're going to make this relationship work, I've realized now, I've understood now, this is what I feel this relationship is missing. And this is how I need you to come through for me. And here are the ways in which I'm trying to come through. You let me know if there's anything more than this than you need from me so we can figure this out can we do this or not can we be on the same page is this something that we're both invested and willing to do and if not some of you are deciding to go your separate way regardless of whether or not there's a new relationship but in that hermit mode and in that hermit time you've gotten your ducks all lined up in a row so to speak You've handled your matters to where you can walk away should your partner say, I can't invest in this way or I can't show up for you in the way you're asking me to show up for you. Now, because of the major arcana card here, I do feel, and because we had the four of swords, I do feel that for the majority of you, your person is realizing they love you. They love you. They want you. Some of what you're telling them might be a little challenging for some of you. Your person is kind of getting their feelings hurt a little bit, but they're putting their ego aside. They're putting their pride aside to, to step up and to try harder. Okay. Um, and so this is, this is a, this is a situation for those of you uh, who obviously are are uh, committed. If you're not committed, if you're a single Pringle, um, you might want to check out your moon, your rising, your Venus, and see if one of those maybe resonates more. Uh, but I do feel like there's there's still a lot of love here. There's still a lot of affection. There may be some challenges. There may be some hurt feelings. Um but I feel like there's still love here and you're dealing with a person who's willing to try harder to hold on to you because they don't want to leave you. Especially after this situation where like you're seriously about to go or you're seriously considering life with another person uh, you know, like that's a very scary situation and they're like, okay, let's, let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. Let's make this work. The next card that's coming up for you all is the princess of pentacles. And this is, can be a younger earth sign for some of you. And so that could be a Virgo in the mix, but the princess of pentacles for me is going to be investing your time and energy into worthwhile things. Finding a more efficient way of dealing with a situation. Some of you are getting your money matters in order so that you feel more secure. And you're like, if I'm in this relationship, I'm in this relationship because I want to be in this relationship. But if at any moment I don't want to be in this relationship, I have the ability to bounce. I have the ability to leave. Some of you are doing this as, as a way of giving yourself uh, reassurance or to feel safe in a relationship. Money aside, Page of Pentacles or Princess of Pentacles is also going to be like now you're coming into the relationship, investing your time and energy and going about things in an efficient way 
where you're actually finding solutions, you're actually fixing the problem instead of just sticking a Band-Aid over it and uh, sweeping it under the rug. And maybe for a lot of you, this is why this relationship is in such a fragile point at this time because maybe you all didn't know. You didn't know how to fix it or you didn't know how to go about things in a in, in, in a wise way or an efficient way. And now you all are getting grounded and you're able to really address the situations and make the changes that need to be made for this relationship to, to flourish. Okay. Uh, again, you may want to check out your moon, your rising, your Venus, if this is none of those, because that might resonate for you more than this particular Sagittarius love reading for me. If you would like to schedule a private reading with me, you can click on the link in the description of this video. It will take you to calendly.com slash amethystangelite, and you can schedule a private reading with me there. Don't forget to check out the weekly forecasts where every single week I go over everything other than love and romance. And then the, we do the daily card of the day, the daily messages as well. So check those out as well, my dears. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope that this reading is helpful and I'm wishing you all the very best. Take care.